What's up guys, Riley from Northwest Strings. Um, second video today. Told you guys I'd be making videos more. Um, I just want to say thanks to everyone who has entered the contest for the giveaway for the gay torque so far. Um, if you haven't, do it. Um, all you gotta do is subscribe and comment on the giveaway video to be entered to win. Um, but right now, I'm going to switch gears and I'm going to give you guys a little stick update since my sticks have changed since the last gear bag video I made um, back in June, July-ish, I don't remember but um, show you my backup stick real quick Brian Ripper with a pita pocket on a gate Merc um, really great shaft $35 um, thought it was going to suck but it's actually held up pretty well I'm um, taking a couple death checks and it hasn't dented it, the paint chip but it hasn't dented which is quality enough for me um, the head I've had it for a really long time um, actually the entire time I've been playing which is about 10 seasons um, not including winter 10 summer seasons um, including winter it's about 17 seasons because I took a couple winter seasons off to play football. Um, but yeah, high pocket, really nice. Um, no whip, and really minimal hold, as, which would come to a surprise with this high-ass pocket. Um, but, I don't know, pita pockets are just awesome like that. So, you know, um, I strum this too. About, you know, Started about three, three, two, three weeks ago ish, ish, and it's holding up really well. I shot with it a lot, and really low whip. And so my gamer, it's my superpower. Nylon, a straight, and a four U. Oh, uh, STX Force Scandium shaft. Um, this really nice pocket. Last pocket I showed you, really whippy. I know I said it was minimal whip, but then I actually went and shot with it. Really whippy. Um, so I changed it up. Pattern to this is 9 triangle top string and 9 diamond top string go in the second, in the first hole. And then you tie second, skip, interlock, Ugh. skip, interlock, interlock. 1, 2, one, one, interlock, tie. And you will get this nice mid pocket with this channel. Let's do that. Oh, there you go. Um, and it has really minimal whip, like a three, which is what I look for in the whip, which is what the pita pocket has. Um, and it has really minimal hold, which is kind of depressing, but I'll live with it. Um, really, really, really love the Force Scanium shaft. Um, I've had it for a really long time. It's been like three, three to five seasons now, and it hasn't dented or chipped. I just took the graphics off. No graphics. Um, yeah, it's held up really well through the three to five seasons that I've had it. Um, hands down, my favorite shaft in lacrosse today. Um, that being said, I can say right now that that is my opinion. I have not tried a crypto light, any of the warrior shafts for that matter, um, or Saitai Pros or any of that. Um, this is probably the most expensive shaft that I've ever owned. So, um, I, this is going to be my favorite until I find something new. I really want to try a Saitai Pro or one of those new STX Surgeons shafts or the Stallion. Or whichever one was the light one. can't really remember. Um, but I really like light shafts. Because um, if a shaft dents, then, you know, it's whatever. I'd rather have the shaft be light than really heavy, you know. It's, 
I have weird logic, I guess. Um, but yeah, both these shafts are pretty light. Especially this four scanium. This whole stick is like really, really light compared to everything, all my other friends' sticks. Um, except for one. There's one kid on my team, Cody Cope. I love the kid to death. Um, he has a Warrior Crisscross with a Surgeon 10, and that is a really light stick. That's lighter than my Superpower Insight, or Spore Scanium. That is a light stick. Um, so, if you really have, if you have a Surgeon and a Crisscross, and they're not put together, put them together. It's a very light stick. Um, you will not regret it. Uh, um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys right now. Those are my sticks as of now. Um, if they change again, you'll probably get another update video. Um, but enter to win the Gay Torque by subscribing and commenting on the giveaway video. You don't really, I'm not going to say you have to comment, but if you comment, your chances of winning uh, will become very, 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 very greatly increased. Um, and I might make a gear bag video soon. So, if you want that, let me know, because my I have bought a lot of new gear since the last gear bag video, and, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, subscribe to Win the Gay Torque, boom, this bad boy, um, and, yeah, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more updates and whatnot, and, um, just comment any videos you'd like to see, because... I'm here to please you. Thanks, guys.